team. Here, I'll just Lauren Casey is here, and some of these storms just bouncing their way out, but you yep. have more on the tarmac. And, and what indeed, do we have? Yes, we have storms that are going to be moving in as we head into the evening hours. Looks like the highest threat the city and points southward, so shore points. You could see some storms as we head into the evening hours, so keep that in mind if you do have those evening plans to be out on the boards. But earlier today, just cool sights being spotted down the shore. Check this out, Joe Holden. Look at that. Do you see it? In so the clouds? Leslie Van Arstal is in the wings, too. We were talking. What is it? Is it a rainbow? Is it uh, a, Superman? It's a quasi rainbow. This was spotted in Avalon. Those are high level clouds, cirrus clouds. So they're comprised of teeny tiny little ice crystals. Ah. And when the light, the sunlight passes through them, the light is scattered and can create this cloud iridescence, is actually what it's called scientifically. Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot in Avalon of that cloud iridescence. Always something cool to look at when you look up into the sky. And right now, looking at some sunshine and some high clouds as we get a live look at Cape May. People out on the beach enjoying the conditions. Even some people look, they're going in the water. They're kids. They're kids. They go into the cold water. They don't mind temperature of the ocean right now. Still in the upper 50s, but yeah, it has been a great day so far. Save for some storms that have worked through parts of the area. Temperatures, though, are certainly warm. 82 degrees in Philadelphia. Warm down the shore as well. We're at 85 in AC. 81 degrees in Wildwood. 82 right now in Ocean City in Cape May. 83 degrees right now. Temperature change over the last 24 hours. Knocked down a little bit by some rain cooled out in the Lehigh Valley, but we're still up about 8 degrees from this time yesterday. Up 10 degrees in Philly. Up 20 degrees from this time yesterday in Atlantic City. Also up the dew points or how sticky it feels when you step outside. You can feel that kind of mugginess with our dew points in the middle 60s to near 70 degrees. So yeah, right now on our comfort index, we're at the humid category, but for our Memorial Day holiday tomorrow, dropping down into the kind of awesome, pleasant category. And then things get a little bit muggy again as we head into Tuesday. But tomorrow is going to be feeling great, looking great as well. But first, we do have to get in through some storms, scattered storms as we head into the first part of the overnight period, then mostly cloudy and mild after midnight. 67 degrees are overnight low, and that will set us up for a beautiful day tomorrow once this cold front makes its way through. Sunshine temperatures down a bit, but still above average at 82 degrees with those comfortable humidity values really can't get a better forecast than that. Storm scan three showing us we did have this stronger cell work through parts of Chester County, Delco, then really weakening right now, just bringing some very light rain to parts of Burlington County. But we do have more activity upwind closer to that cold front. Severe thunderstorm watches in effect for parts of Virginia, West Virginia. They're stretching back into Kentucky and that cold front will drop in for us as well. You do notice that cell that passed on through a weekend and now just bringing some of that light shower activity to parts of Burlington County. We did have this the cell impacting portions of coastal Ocean County that has since moved offshore. So the threat in the meantime has ended for you. But future weather showing us as we head into the evening hours and a couple of models playing out the scenario with this best chance of some stronger storms, especially in the city and areas southward. And that will include the shore as we step through the evening hours around 10, 11 o'clock, midnight. Could see some of those cells moving towards our shore points. Midnight, 1 a.m. Still could be dealing with some shower and thunderstorm activity along the coast and then as we head into the late overnight period all of that threat comes to an end skies eventually clear out can we get to some morning clouds tomorrow but don't fret they will fade away and then sunshine is in store as we head all through the day tomorrow and down the shore it is going to be a beautiful one for our memorial day mostly sunny on the sand temperatures in the middle 70s watch out for that uv index but the rip current risk will be low tomorrow as we head into tuesday heading back to work well Mother Nature knows she's going to be crying for all of us. Showers likely temperatures back down to 75 degrees and then a very summer like pattern as we end May and kick off June with sunshine then a chance of a late day thunderstorm high temperatures in the middle 80s to near 90 degrees as we had Wednesday into next weekend. All right, Lauren Casey, thank you so much. I know you'll be busy tonight. Very